This trial of the century is resuming in Kuala Lumpur. Former Prime Minister Najib Razak is facing corruption charges for which he has pleaded not guilty. Uh, he is accused of involvement in the so-called 1MDB scandal. That is the sovereign wealth fund he set up and allegedly helped embezzle billions of dollars from. Uh, Mr. Najib now faces charges of criminal breach of trust, abuse of power and money laundering. He faces a possible 20 years in jail if convicted. Uh, the man you're about to meet is the award-winning Malaysian cartoonist Zulkifli Anwar ul Haq, better known as Zunar. Now, he has been a target of Malaysian authorities' crackdowns on dissent, but that hasn't stopped him from taking on this high-profile scandal. This scandal is so complex. The way the money travels around the world is so complicated for lay person in Malaysia to understand. That is why I, I want to use cartoon. Because by, by make it simple and give something for the people to laugh, so they will understand more and the impact will be more. I use a symbols that people can understand in their daily life, the one that very, very familiar with them. As an example, the expensive ring and the, the expensive handbag and also the, the uses of a, 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 a private jet, which is people very easy to understand. And not only that, I compare this with their daily uh, life uh, lifestyle. That means, let's say as an example, the wife of the prime minister use a very expensive diamond ring and also a handbag. How about the normal housewife? What type of handbag they use it? If they, this lady can have a Birkin, a normal housewife can only have a, a very cheap handbag. And this is why this is the result of the corruption of 1MDB. Yeah, in many of your cartoons, she is a symbol of the spending in the 1MDB scandal. We're talking about Rosma Mansour, the wife of the disgraced former prime minister. In your cartoons, we see her big hair. We see her big diamond rings, her big spending. We also see how powerful she really was. Can you, can you tell us about that? The in a simple word, I think she is uh, Emilda Marcos of Malaysia. This is very simple, how powerful uh, she was. In my view, yeah, in my, this is my view, that she, she controlled her husband in terms of politics and in terms of spending. You have, uh, you know, seen your books being banned. You faced multiple charges of sedition. Um, at one point, you were banned from even leaving Malaysia. At, were you at all in a situation where you thought, I give up, I don't want this responsibility anymore? Yeah, there's, there's a time, sometime when I was in the police lockup alone, this, this thing all came to my mind that I said, why, why should I do this type of thing? Why can't I draw normal cartoons like other people as? I can make money. And sometimes I got, I, I, I have fear like other, other, like everybody, you know, they fear. The police will come. They, they will arrest me anytime. They will put in, in the lockup anytime. All type of law they will use against me anytime. Yes, I have fear, but responsibility is bigger than fear. So this is not about me. Eh? This is not about me. This is about my, the, the nation. So to save Malaysia is my mission. So I have to sacrifice. You must be watching the ongoing trial of Najib Razak very, very, very closely. What's your thinking about that? And, and do you think that you know, after so much was taken from the people of Malaysia, will there be justice? I don't know the outcome. But um, what I know, many Malaysians think the, 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 the process is too slow. They want to get. They want to see Najib in the prison as early as as as, as possible because for them they are very angry when they when the, during the trial it came out about even the pension fund even also been been used in the YMDB scandal is a billion of pensioners funds. So I think people are really really angry. But I also worry in terms of, I mentioned earlier, the YAGB case is so complex. There are so many technical things. Then Najib might get away with it.
And that was Malaysian political cartoonist Zunar speaking with me earlier from Kuala Lumpur. Now, both Najib Razak and his wife, Rosman Mansour, continue to deny all charges.